All right, we're back. Uh, fucking, it's been a little bit. Uh, let's just jump into it. Actually, uh, just want to show real quick. This fucking character, Virgil, beat the game in just under six hours. That's pretty fucking cool, man. That's probably my that that is my best uh, time for winning this game. I think last time was like eight hours. Somewhere around that, so yeah, just under six hours. That's pretty fucking good. And for like not really using like, I mean, I do like skip some stuff. Like I didn't fight Priscilla or what? What the fuck is his name? Uh, Gwendolyn. Like I usually skip those bosses just because it's like they're boring, honestly. But, hold on. So today, what we're gonna do is, I guess, finish exploring An Orlando. Oh wow, I'm doing real bad. So like, I'm pretty fucking sleep deprived. Like, not that much, but like. It's almost, it's like 2 in the afternoon. I woke up at like 8 p.m. yesterday. It's not great. I'm a little bit tired. It's so probably not going to be performing all that well, which sucks because, well, I plan on like, uh, that? Okay. Do I plan on fucking, uh, Completing the rest of fucking Anne Orlando, and if you know Anne Orlando, this place is not easy. That door's locked. There's actually a uh, pretty fun way to. Yeah, we're talking about here. Pretty fun way to uh, skip. Actually, I guess I already showed it because I already have this armor. That door's still closed, but if you didn't see it, you can uh, just skip right to the boss fight by jumping here. I kind of want to jump again just because, but it's like, I kind of want to do this very legit. Hello. Bitch. So, uh, since last time, I, uh, I already got that, I guess. Since the last uh, video of this I recorded, I played you know, more Dark Souls. Uh, and you know, I've played this game so much that I have fucking... I'm capable of beating it in under fucking six hours. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So I haven't watched... Oh shit. I haven't recorded uh, in a while. So it's like... I don't remember what the fuck I was doing prior to, you know, before I left. Uh, honestly, I really don't feel like recording right now, but it's like I have the time, so I may as well. Okay, so I already did all this. Okay, I think I could just skip to the boss. Yeah, okay, let's just go. Oh, wait, shit, never mind. Uh, we could just do the boss, but... It's because I wanted to show it off. Uh, we're gonna fucking meet some douchebags. And honestly, because I don't know how much time I have, probably like one more hour, I might just be able to do this and then like the boss. And who knows how long that would take. Oh, yeah, when you enter this big ass fucking room. You can use this black eye orb, and you can, you know, kill whoever it was that killed our firekeeper in Firelink Shrine. It's gotta wait, <sighs> and we have to fight someone that. Actually, let's turn this up a little bit. We have to fight someone who, or who was the fucking progenitor of ganking that became so popular in Dark Souls Three. 
and probably also inspired that shitty boss in Dark Souls 2, the Sunken King DLC, I think. Pretty sure. And we got three fuckers over here. So, my strategy for this, I ain't got one. I think I usually just go for, like, the Sorcerer, or maybe... Uh, I don't really have an idea. Let's just go, see what happens. So yeah, Low Truck, he's the one that killed the Firekeeper. Oh shit. Oh, he's like a fucking truck. So, yeah, I don't know what I want to do. Kind of just shooting the shit right now. It's fine. Where is the fucking... Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was what I was looking for. So, I think the last time I did this, I had a sorcerer build. Or... No, I, I had a fucking miracle build with a uh, lightning. So I was just like... Oh, we got him to halfway. That's cool. Might be able to get- Yeah! Easy! Does this not get killed? Well, he dies. Fuck you guys. <laughs> oh shit. Oh fuck, okay. There we go, that was easy. Some one off. Screen's pretty fucking blurry. Uh, I didn't really do much to. Uh, I didn't do much for my setup, for my record setup. Uh, ta -ta -ti -ta -ti -ta. And we got, you know, one of the best weapon uh, rings in the game. Fap, the ring of favor and protection. Uh. Yeah, of course. Usually when I play this game, I just go Havel's Ring and Ring of Fap. Because fucking... It just enhances your stats. Gives you more HP, more stamina, and, you know... Bigger load. So basically just HP and endurance. But if you take out the ring, it breaks. Just forever. And you, you don't get it back. Let's put that shit on. And I wonder. Nah, of course not. Hell's ring, and there we go. We could put on more shit, probably. Yeah. So yeah, those those two are pretty fucking good. Like, usually when people talk about the rest the best rings, it's these two. Like, there's other contenders, I suppose, like uh Wolf Ring, if you have lighter armor. And the Red Tear Stone Ring, you know, for if you're a fucking speedrunner, I guess. I don't use that shit. And it's just Homer Bone, get our shit back, and then we'll fight. <sighs> I'm really scared for what's coming because it's like. I just. It's just very incons inconsistent, the results that I get fighting, what's going to show up. Uh, do I want to grind for fucking... Uh, spend some souls. Just get another level before I fucking die. Do I want to use a boss soul? Not really. Uh, like, let's use one of these, see if that's enough. You would think for how many hours I have in this game, you I would... uh have the amount of souls you get from these memorized, but it's like, eh. Just wing it. See? We wing it. I forget what I'm doing with this goddamn build. Um... A little bit more health. In the recent builds that I've been using, I, like, don't level up vitality. <laughs> uh, so seeing this fucking character, I'm like, eh. But... 
that's usually because like when I'm playing by myself, when I'm playing with myself, I uh, I already know what I'm doing. It's not that I know what I'm doing, it's that I'm fully concentrated on that. So it's like I don't really fuck up that much, but since I'm talking, I can't even decide what I want to put this fucking point into. Let's go with vitality just for now. Because I'm really fucking sleepy. And like, I ate. I made a. Uh, chicken quesadillas with a. Uh, what was it? Not asparagus. Uh, spinach. I, yeah, with spinach. Uh, usually I make them pretty good. Today I fucking burnt the shit out of them. Like I said, I'm sleepy, a little tired. Uh, so I got very impatient. Just wanted to, just wanted to cook the things. And whoops, the tortillas burned. I mean, it still tasted okay, but it's like, eh. But fuck the quesadillas. Sometimes he laughs in this cutscene. So I didn't get it this time. Oh god, let's see how this goes. Oh, of course he opens up with that. Oh. What the fuck? So, uh, Ornstein and Samoa, uh, Drake and Josh, uh, Snorlax and Pikachu, uh, Biggie and Smalls, whatever you want to say. These motherfuckers are bastards. They are the worst and I love them. Seriously, like half the time I'm like, oh, I'm doing pretty alright. The other half, I'm uh, getting fucking ganked. If there's one thing we can learn from this area is how to gank. Oh my fucking god. Uh, usually like to fight. Uh, usually like to kill uh, Smo first, so you get Ornstein's armor, or just because like I like fighting Ornstein more. Oh wow, my voice is cracked. I like fighting uh, second phase Ornstein more than second phase Ornstein or Smo. Look, I'm fighting these motherfuckers. Also, that attack which Smo just did, where he just this one. It's his worst fucking attack. It's like the only move of his that I legit am like, fuck. Ornstein in general is just a fucking dickhead. Like whenever I hear people talking about these bosses, it's like, oh, one is like the fast one that pokes you and then Smo's the one that he's slow, but he does big damage. I swear to you fucking, they do the same amount of fucking damage. And again, it's Dark Souls, so it's like, Basically everything does a shit ton of damage. Doing pretty alright so far. God damn it, not anymore. Fuck! Okay. It's usually... I find it easier for myself to just dodge that, or... To block that attack, the charging attack. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Alright. Ornstein is disgustingly... Amazing at protecting Smo. Bitch. Alright. Smo and his big old bitch tits. Oh fuck. I need to be careful. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Yeah, a lot of this fight is just like backing off and finding opportune moments to do shit. Why am I attacking you? God damn it. Look, I'm very distracted. <laughs> Also, uh, Smo can unintentionally uh, block damage with that hammer of his. Oh, fuck, okay. Okay, we need to back off, back off, back off, back off. These fucking pillars are your savior. They're your best friends, use them. Put a little space between you and those pillars though, because these motherfuckers can just... They can hit right past them. Especially this big guy, but Ornstein can still poke you through the... Okay. Man. 
Oh yeah, this is like the most iconic, I'd say the most iconic Dark Souls boss. Not only in this game, but like no, in the series in general. Okay, there we go. Where's Ornstein? Get a block. Okay, oh. Okay. So you kill one, the other one uh, takes his power and gets stronger. I find Ornstein to be harder, but he's more fun. Smo. He's not that hard. He's. He's, he behaves basically the same, it's just that his attacks are... They hit harder. And it's just really scary seeing a big guy with a thunder hammer. Uh, oh, I got the hiccups. Where you at? Oh, fuck, okay. Wait. Did... did he didn't hit me there, did he? I mean, like... He, him, right now, he didn't hit me. It's from, like, the previous phase before the fucking cutscene. Happened, I swear, that's what happened. I looked away for a second? Okay. So in this phase, Ornstein copies uh, Smo's butt slam. Okay. This phase I usually don't have too much issue with. It's really when you fight both of them that it gets scary, and then because you have this new phase, it's like, fuck. So basically. Oh, okay, it's fine. Wait, what was that about? Oh yeah, so... Boss that has two phases. Uh, so basically... If you fuck... If you're scared of that, uh, don't play the later Souls games. Or From Software games. By the way, that attack is a command grab. It hits you with that, uh... I kind of want to get hit by it just because it looks cool. Uh, let's see if I have an opportunity. It's not going too bad. Oh fuck, I only have three uh, Estus though. So I might not do it. Shit. Also, I'm scared of this guy just because one time he killed me in a very janky manner. And it just scared me from then on. But I guess because of that uh, kill he got on me. I just learn to be more aggressive on him. Just stay on him. Usually big guys like this, you can just stay underneath them and they can't hit you. When we get to uh, Nito... Oh fuck, he put me in the air. <laughs> when we get to Nito, that'll become very apparent. That just being under big guys is a good idea. How the fuck did you get up there? I've never seen that before. Okay, he's back down. Wow. But yeah, the junk kill, he uh, knocked me down. I was low health. And then he did a lunging attack, and he did it like instantaneously. Oh fuck. Like, like that uh, dash attack he does, I don't think he's seen it, he's done it right now, but like, when he does that, like he has a bit of a wind up, but when the jank kill that he, the, the way that he jankly killed me, uh, he just did it instantaneously, like he did a fucking animation cancel or something. Oh. oh yeah, uh, you know, I was really worried. Oh, okay, yep, yeah. I was really worried, but, uh, went pretty well. Like, exceedingly well. Also, I like how, uh, there's two elevators. There's a big one for Smo and a smaller one for Ornstein. That's pretty, uh, that's a pretty cool detail. And here we have two statues and where one should be. So we have a Gwyn. By the way, I didn't notice this until recently, but Gwyn's wearing a cape. He looks pretty cool in a cape, honestly. Well, one thing I hate about Gwyn, though, is his, like, sandals. Eh. Yeah, overall, Gwyn's pretty cool. He does sandals, though. We have Guinevere. Uh... And we have... Nothing. Huh. That's pretty disappointing. It'd be... It's really disappointing... It's really disappointing seeing cool things and you see where there could be another cool thing but then there's nothing. I would hate for that to be a thing. 
Like, can you imagine finding a, a bunch of chests and then in one of those chests there's just nothing? Man, that would be terrible. I sure hope that never happens. So yeah, if you kill... Uh, not Kirk. If you kill Lau Trek in that uh, room over there and not in anywhere else, you can get his armor. I've never worn this armor. It just, you know, I mean, it looks interesting, but I just never wear it because, like, I never let Lautrec live more than a second. I just push him off a uh, Fireland Shrine. Uh, what time is it? Let me see real quick. 248. I can record a little more. I think I'm just, like, going up forward a little bit and then leaving, but a little bit more time. Or, you know, unless my fucking camera decides it's out of memory and just fucking dies. That's fine. Uh. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Hmm. Let's go with strength. Unless. I... Hmm. I guess I would get more damage output for leveling up dexterity. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll find a shield I want later on. Let's just go to the endurance for now. Put one into strength. Okay, let's go. That's cool. All right. Yeah, in my recent runs, I've been just pumping everything to endurance, and then it just fucking exceeds the health bar, and it's like really funny to. Anyways, and that's uh, Guinevere, or as I like to call her, Guinevere. Very mature. Anyway. Actually, I do kind of call her that sometimes because they get confused with Guinevere and Gwendolyn and it's like, uh, which one's which? Who's Gwendolyn? Uh, don't worry about it. But even a Lord Vessel, even a warp now, that's pretty cool. Yes. See, the, the, I fucking I confuse who's who. It says like Guinevere, Gwendolyn, uh, Guinevere. Oh, Guinevere, because she has a amazing view ahead. Uh, yeah. With that, we have the Lord Vessel. Uh, at this point, well, I mean, because I've already played this game so much, I know what to do. I know where I want to go. But like, the first time around, I forget like. How do they expect you to know where to go once you get the Lord Vessel? You know, warp, I guess, Farling Shrine, because it's the first one you go there. Actually, no, because you'll probably find uh, Frampt in Farling Shrine when you come back from Light Town. So you already, like, he'll tell you to get the Lord Vessel or some shit, and then you come back, and he's like, oh, hey, thanks. Uh, I don't have a lot about. I don't have a lot to talk about right now, honestly. Is there anything interesting in my room? Uh. Mm. Oh, uh, I have a Ridley amiibo I just saw. Speaking of Ridley, uh, fucking Metroid Dread. Holy shit, Metroid! It's alive. It's not dead. So, friend. Oh fuck, I think I have to end the video. Shit. Alright. Oh, is that Ornstein Smoke? Gonna see you later. Bye.